Well, we have already covered a lot of different operators that we can use in Python, but guess what? As you can see from the title of this episode, we are not done looking at operators. Sure, let's talk about string operators. Yeah, there's one that is very valuable and it's called concatenation, where we are gonna bring strings together and we're gonna use what appears to be the plus symbol for this. Yeah, look at this example. I take a variable named first underscore name and I populate it with a string of Anthony. And then last name, I populate with a string of Sequera. And then the full name is going to be set equal to the first name. And then notice our string operator of concatenation, the plus symbol. I add a space, I add another plus symbol, and then last name. When we print full name, you better believe it, it's going to engage in this concatenation. It's going to give us the first name, a space, and the last name. There's another type of string operator we should be aware of, and it is to repeat a string. Let's take a look at this example. So here I am setting a variable called greeting to the string of high exclamation point and notice a blank space. I then say repeated is going to equal this greeting and then it looks like a multiplication sign. But yeah, this is the repeat string operator and it says repeat this three times. So sure enough, if I asked for Python to print the value of repeated, what does it print? High, high, and high. Yeah, so that is how we can easily repeat strings with the repeat string operator. What other types of operators should we be aware of? Well, of course, there's the assignment operator. Yeah, we've been using this, gosh, since like day one in our Python videos. Yeah, where we take a variable, for instance, my test variable, and we set it equal to something. But guess what? There's also shortcut operators in Python. Yeah, so let's take a look at one of these. X is equal to 10. And then I say x plus equal 5. What is happening here? Well, the plus equal syntax is a shortcut operator. It's saying take the value of whatever x is and add 5 to it. Yeah, so sure enough, at that point in the operation of things, x is now equal to 15. It was 10, and we're adding 5 to it. What happens if we have another line of code that says x times equals 2? Well, sure enough, this is going to take the value of x, which was 15, and it's going to multiply it by 2, giving us a value now of 30. So if we tell Python to print the x value, it's going to print for us that value of 30. So I love the shortcut operators. Sure, we're saying go ahead and give us that previous value of x and do something to it. Now, remember in Python, we have our Boolean expressions where we have a value of true or false, and that's binary one or zero. Well, sure enough, there are Boolean operators we should know. For instance, not, which reverses a Boolean value, or and, which would return true if both things that are being analyzed are true, and or, which would return true if at least one of these conditions is true. So let's take a look at a Boolean operator in action, shall we? I set x equal to 5, and then I say print x is greater than 3 and x is less than 10. So does at least, or does both of these stand true? That's what the and would test. Both need to be true in order to give us a true value. And of course, that's exactly what happens. This evaluates to true because x is greater than 3 and x is less than 10. If we set 
x's value here to 5. So Boolean operators are very valuable for us as well. How about relational operators? Sure, like equal to, or not equal to, or greater than, or less than, or greater than or equal to, or less than and equal to. So relational operators are also available to us in Python. Let's take a look at an example. I say A is equal to 5, B is equal to 3. You guessed it. Print, is A equal to B? And the answer, of course, will return false, as A and B are not equal to each other. Finally, folks, I know you're thinking, my goodness, how many operators am I going to need to know? Well, finally, we wrap up this video with our bitwise operators. That's right. This is for manipulation of bits in binary operations. Notice there's an AND, there's a NOT, there's an XOR, there's an OR, there's a left shift, there's a right shift. All of these are going to manipulate bits in a different way. And you can see I've got the description of these operators listed here for you for reference. So let's take a look at an example here. Let's zero in on that OR bitwise operator. Sets each bit to 1 if one of the bits in the two values we're comparing is equal to 1. Let's take an example of this one. So I'm going to say A is equal to 5. Now, notice the comment I added here. In binary, that is 0, 1, 0, 1. I then set B equal to 3. In binary, that would be 0, 0, 1, 1. And then sure enough, I say the result is equal to A and then the OR operator, bitwise operator of OR, and then B. So what is the result going to be when we print it? Well, it's going to be 7 because in the first bit position, there is nothing set to a 1, so that remains a 0. In the next bit position, we have one of the values at 1, so that's going to set it to 1. In the next bit position, one of our values was 1, so that gets 1. And then finally, in the 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 least most significant bit position, the far right, both were set to 1, so that's going to equal 1. So the binary is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, and when we convert that to decimal, it's 1 plus 2 plus 4, and that equals 7. So our bitwise operators, a little tricky, a little strange if we're not used to working with binary, but it's important for us to understand that these bitwise operators exist in Python and we can take full advantage of them, especially when we are working with binary operations as we often do when dealing with things like IP addressing in today's networking world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got a couple more videos for you on things like data operators and, you know, values that we can work with in Python. So have no fear. We'll see you in the next video here.